all this is Norma and welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be making some pepper steak and the steak that I got today is the beef flank steak I have some dark soy sauce I have some rice vinegar I have some oil I have garlic powder right here and garlic onion I have some nor chicken seasoning I have some lemon powder and this is some minced garlic some minced ginger corn flour some honey I have yellow onions and I have red and green bell pepper but I'm gonna kick my up a notch. So I'll mince a habanero pepper and I'm gonna add it into mine. You don't have to put that when you make yours, but that's what I'm gonna do onto mine. So I'm gonna put my gloves on and we're gonna start cutting the steak. And the way you cut your flank steak because of all the uh, fat that's in there, you should cut it against the green. It's better when you cut it that way. So let me put my gloves on and we're gonna start cutting them steak. So we're going to start cutting the steak. So this is how it looks. I'm going to cut all my steak and I'll be back. I have my flank that I've cut up and now I'm going to season it. So I'm going to put some soy sauce, some lemon pepper, some nor seasoning, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some of my minced ginger. So I put some minced ginger, I have some minced garlic. I'm gonna put my habanero pepper I'm going to put some honey, and some of my cornstarch, and just give that a good stir. And like I say, you don't have to put the habanero pepper because when you do, it's going to be hot. But that's how I like it, so I added that additional. I added that additional ingredients to mine. So now that I've mixed it up, take my gloves off and take some cinnamon wrap. And I'm going to wrap that and set it aside. Next, we're going to go on to cutting our bell pepper and onion. So I'm going to cut it about this size. And it's been washed and cleaned. So I'm going to put my rice vinegar, I'm going to put 
the soy sauce, some of my lemon and black pepper mix, some of my oil, the North seasoning, the North chicken seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and then I'm going to add my um, cornstarch, give it a stir, and add some water. I'm making this slurry that's going to go when I um, fry my flank steak. As you can see, I've got all my onions and bell pepper cut up. We're going to go to the next stage and we're going to start frying the beef. So I'm just going to set this aside and we'll move on to frying the beef. I have a non-stick frying pan that's on the stove now. I'm going to put some vegetable oil. And I'm going to wait for it to get very hot. I want to sear my meat. I don't want when I put it in there and it's not hot enough and then it start, the meat start frothing with water. So let's make it get hot and we're going to start frying the beef. So my oil is hot and I'm going to start transferring my meat. So we're going to start flipping it over and let the other side fry. The first step is ready. I'm going to transfer it into this bowl. And then go on to frying the next step. The last step is done. And I'm going to transfer it over to the bowl. And we're going to move on to the vegetables. So I have another pan here, a non-stick one, and I'm going to put some oil. And I'm going to put the rest of my garlic with minced up. And my ginger. Frying it together, make sure it don't burn. If you want it fry to get that aroma. Because now that it's all going and the aroma smells so good, before it burns, I'm going to add my mixed vegetables. And when 
when you add your mixed vegetables so that it stays vibrant, make sure your stove is high. And if you cook it too much, it will get soggy. So you don't want that soggy. So you just keep stirring it around. Then the marinade with the ginger and the garlic. And I have it on high heat. So we have that vibrant color. I'm going to mix my slurry because it's been sitting for a while and just pour it. And start mixing. And don't forget my stove is on high heat. I'm trying to keep my colors of my vegetable very vibrant. Now it's time to add my meat. Rice that's cooking, and I'm gonna plate this dish. Your pepper steak is already the aroma is just wonderful. And I cheated, I tasted it a little bit to make sure how my meat was and it's so tender. So I'm cutting it off, and the next step is to plate it with my rice. If you haven't tried any one of my recipes, make sure to try this. It is so good. So I made some rice and I'm gonna plate my food. There you have it, pepper steak and some rice. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. And the next time I upload, you will be notified. Bye-bye.